Here we go, our fresh fruit extract. Okay, here we go. So I chose strawberries because, don't you think strawberries are just right around the corner? I hope so. It we hope so. So cold here, nothing is, it doesn't seem like spring's ever gonna come. So we chose um, strawberries, and this is, um, I've measured these strawberries ahead of time, and then I cut them into small pieces. This is eight ounces. Eight ounces of strawberries. Of strawberries, and then of course I add vanilla to everything because I am crazy vanilla lady, right? <laughs> <laughs> So this is about an ounce of vanilla beans. Um, I like a lot of vanilla flavor in it. If you want less, then just put a few beans in here. If you don't want any vanilla and you just want to make strawberry extracts, you could do that, but heaven forbid, no vanilla? What? <laughs> so one ounce of vanilla is what I put in here, um, eight ounces of strawberries, eight and now strawberries. all I have to do is add my Everclear. Which we've already poured into here, right? Yeah. We've measured it out. So I've already measured it out. I'm going to fill it up. Now sometimes, depending on how small I cut my fruit, the um, Everclear doesn't cover my fruit. So I just let it absorb. And then once it absorbs into the fruit, I'll push it down and kind of squeeze it down in to make sure that all of the fruit is being covered by the Everclear, the alcohol, because you want to make sure that all the fruit, if the fruit isn't covered, it could mold, and you don't want that to happen. That would not be a happy day. So, there we go. How beautiful is that? By the way, I mean, let me just do a little close-up, because this is this is like the artsy part of extra <laughs> thing that I just love. And there is an artsy craft of this. It's beautiful. Isn't that fun? With the vanilla beans, the strawberries, they'll float a little bit at the beginning, uh -huh. right? Um, some people use a glass, um, a weight to put on top. Some of these I have glass weights in. Um, so we're going to wait four weeks. And then we're going to check this in your milk, one tablespoon of milk, put a couple drops of your extract in, and see what you think. Now in one month, it's going to be um, definitely mostly strawberry, very little vanilla, but you're going to taste the vanilla in there. But, you know, it might not be where you want it. And so that's when you can put in your second um, round of strawberries. But this time we talked about only four ounces of strawberries because you don't want to dilute that alcohol too much. So the first round, eight ounces of strawberries. Second round, four ounces of strawberries. And then wait another four weeks. Try it again with your tablespoon of milk or whipped cream or whatever you like with a couple drops and see what you think. Now, the longer you wait, the more vanilla that's gonna come out of there. Um, if you want it to mostly be strawberry and just a little bit of vanilla, it's gonna be ready a lot sooner. So really, it's up to you. What's, what's your craft? What are you looking for? That's what I love about this, is that my strawberry vanilla extract is going to be different than your strawberry vanilla extract, and that's what makes this fun. That's what makes it fun. So someone asked, well, what about using a 40% alcohol or a 50% alcohol? So again, if you go back to our ratios at the beginning of fresh fruit, if you're starting with a 40% alcohol and you add fresh fruit, you're going to cut that alcohol content in half. And now you're going to be down at 20% alcohol. So remember, our sweet spot for good extraction in our experience has been 35% alcohol to 50% alcohol. So the method that we've taught here ensures that during that whole time, that first one that you add has you upwards of like the high end of 50%. Then when you add that half of the amount of fresh fruit the second time, so four ounces instead of eight ounces to the original eight ounces of alcohol, that gets you down to like the 35% level without dipping too much below it. So that's what you've got to keep in mind. You want your extract window to be 35 to 50% alcohol. If you start with a 95% alcohol, you're going to cut it not entirely in half because it's not 100% water, but fresh fruit is 90% water on average. Mm -hmm. So you're going to get down to 50, then you're going to get down to 35. Mm -hmm. And we've tried it. We've been working on that for the last six months, and they have turned out beautifully. Mm -hmm. We've had some peach extracts, some strawberry extracts, um, yeah. grapefruit extracts, pineapple extracts. We've tried so many different things. We're excited to show them all to you. Yeah. We'll have new recipes that we'll be publishing here shortly um, with all sorts of fun things related to fresh fruit extracts.